Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing amazing. I'm excited to share a new story with you guys today. And this book I'm especially um, excited about because I have a lot of connections to this book and I think that you will too. The story we're reading today is called I'm Happy Sad Today, which was written by Lori Britton and illustrated by Matthew Rivera. And in this book, we're gonna hear about the main character experiencing all kinds of feelings. And in some parts of the story, we're going to hear about some scenarios where she's experiencing more than one feeling at the same time. So when I read this book the first time, I had a lot of connections to it. And I hope that you find some parts where you have a connection as well. So let's get started. I'm happy, sad today. Sometimes I just feel happy. That's all. I feel that noisy, giggly, jump and run kind of happy. Sometimes I feel a different kind of happy. When I'm cozy in my favorite spot with my favorite book, I'm the quiet kind of happy. Other times I feel sad. Once I was sick and couldn't go to my friend's birthday party, I had a crying, nothing's right sort of sad. The day our neighbors moved away, I was a different kind of sad. I didn't smile for that whole day or even part of the next day. I definitely have a connection with that experience, having a friend move away. Lots of times I have more than one feeling inside of me. Like when my mom picks me up at school and I have to stop playing. I'm happy to see her, but I'm sad to leave my friends. I say, mom, I'm happy, sad together. The morning I walked into my new classroom for the very first time, I felt scared and brave together. Lots of people feel that way sometimes. How did you feel walking into our classroom for the first time? Were you scared and brave together? Were you one feeling? Were you two feelings? Last week, I was friendly and shy at once. I felt too shy to talk to the new girl, even when I gave her a friendly smile. Sometimes I feel nervous and excited at the same time. That's how I felt about my first sleepover. I was nervous for two whole days before it was time to go and excited too. One time I had two big feelings swirling around inside. I was sad and mad when my friends wouldn't play with me. I felt sad that they weren't being nice and mad that they didn't let me play. Both feelings together. That makes me feel so sad. When I fell down at the playground, I wasn't sure how I felt or what I wanted. Part of me wanted to be picked up like a little kid. Another part of me wanted to get right up and keep climbing. I had a little kid feeling and a big kid feeling mixed together. I had big feelings when my baby brother was born. I was proud to be a big sister and I was jealous of all the attention he was getting. I had proud and jealous feelings inside of me. That was confusing. connection if you've ever had two feelings happening inside of you where 
you kind of felt confused too because maybe you had one good feeling and one bad feeling and it made you feel like you didn't know what was right or wrong. Last week, I learned to cut out a circle with scissors. I couldn't cut a curvy line on my first try. I was frustrated. I didn't want any help. I was determined to keep trying. Finally, I did it. Awesome. When I have more than one feeling inside of me, I don't have to choose just one. I know that all my feelings are okay at the same time. If I want to, I can tell my friend about my feelings. Or I can tell a grown-up about all my feelings. I can say what happened and how I feel. Sometimes I don't even have to talk. I can just be with someone and feel better. Sometimes when my feelings are mixed together, I like to pretend. I can pretend my animals have the same feelings I do. That's a great idea. And then you can have your um, animals work through the feelings that you're having. I can dance and swirl around just like my feelings swirl inside of me. Moving helps me feel better. I can even paint two pictures at the same time to show those together feelings. I make up my own words for my together feelings sometimes. If I am sad and mad together, I can say I'm smad. Or if I'm feeling shy and happy, I can say I'm shappy. I can make up a lot of pretend feeling words. And do you know what? When I'm older, sometimes I'll still have different feelings mixed together inside of me. And that's okay. And there's all those signs for these um, different feelings together. Can you figure out what they are? Smad, shappy, worry, sad, happy. Hapsided, glappy, lovabee, sided, skided. I think it's supposed to be skided. Braverous and hapsad. What are all of those feelings combined with each other? And that is the end of the story. So we left off on this awesome page with all these made up words of two feelings combined. Isn't that awesome? I think it's great for us to sit down and really think about the different feelings that we experience all the time, both good feelings and bad feelings, and remember that they are all okay. Sometimes we're going to feel sad and that is okay. So the optional assignment for this book is to create a poster that has three things, okay? The first thing, the, to prepare for it, you would first have to think about a time when you were feeling two feelings at the same time, okay? So that's, that's one thing. What is the story of a time you felt two feelings at the same time? The second thing is what would that word be? If you took two feelings and put them together, what word would you come up with? And you can use some of those words that were on the last page. And then the third thing is what would be the perfect picture to represent that story? So I made a very quick example here that I wanted to show you. So I have my, my poster and it says, sometimes I feel sappy. Do you know what two feelings those are together? I'm gonna skip my picture for now. I'm gonna come down to my story. My story says, when I had to say goodbye to my students last year, I was sad for them to leave, but happy to watch them be amazing third graders. 
sad plus happy equals sappy. And then in my picture, there's me saying, I will miss you lots. So super, super simple. I didn't write too many details. Of course, you can always do that. Including details is great. I just wanted to make sure that it was going to fit on my poster. But you can write on the back of your poster too if you want. And then I put a super quick picture that represents my story. And at the top, I have the feeling that I felt. So, if you enjoyed this story and you can think of a time when you were feeling two feelings at once, try making a poster. It could be really, really helpful for someone else to see and make that connection with you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later. Bye!